you know that there's a feeling similar to deja vu called deja reeve? Instead of feeling like you've previously experienced an event in real life, deja reeve makes you feel like you've previously experienced an event in a dream. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. I'm so nauseous. Everything's spinning and I feel like I have to be. Dude, just suck on this. What is this? It's just peppermint, okay? It's supposed to help with the nausea. Also, if you try tilting your head to the side, that could help too. Okay, cool. I hurt my back. Ugh. You probably shouldn't be laying down for too long. What do you mean? I can barely move. Yeah, but the only way your back is gonna recover is if you stay moving. It's literally a use it or you lose it kind of thing. Dude! Get up! It's like 4 p.m. What are you doing? I'm sleeping, dude. My sleep schedule's been all out of whack. You know, you can actually trick your body into resetting your sleep cycle. All you have to do is fast for like 12 to 16 hours. What do you mean? How is not eating gonna fix my sleep schedule? Your body's circadian rhythm is regulated through light, but also through food. So if you go through with the fast, you should be able to wake up and go to bed at regular times again. We're leaving a sponge in muriatic acid for a week. Or until something interesting happens. And now we wait. Well, it's been a week and my assistant quit. Oh my god! Let's see what's inside this puppy. Oh! For a brief comparison, can you tell which one wasn't left in acid for a week? It's still a sponge, I can tell you that much. Well... Who ever seen a completely brown cat? Like, think about it. I don't think I have. Turns out they're possible, but pretty rare. You see, these kitties get their color from the pigment melanin, which also colors human skin and hair, and it has two subtypes. There's eumelanin that makes fur black and brown, and pheomelanin that makes fur red and yellow, and these two are responsible for all cats' gorgeous colors. But it comes down to genetics to determine which color they end up getting. There's a gene called TYRP1, and it determines how much eumelanin is produced by a cat. If your cat has a lot of eumelanin, it looks black, but if this gene gets mutated, it becomes recessive, so less eumelanin is produced, resulting in a brown color. It takes two copies of the recessive gene to make a brown cat. So a fully brown cat either has two recessive copies from its parents, or it has a mutation in this gene, which is way less likely than the wild type gene coding for a black cat. So that is why brown cats are so unique. What feels illegal in math, but really isn't? The hundred prisoners problem. What seems to be a very impossible problem, but surprisingly, it has a very simple and an elegant solution. Each prisoner is assigned a unique number from 1 to 100. In another room, numbers 1 to 100 are placed randomly in 100 boxes. There are a few rules. Number 1. The prisoners are to enter the room one at a time. Number 2. The prisoners are allowed to open up to 50 out of the 100 boxes. Number 3. No funny business. They're not allowed to change the boxes in any way. They must open the box, peek inside, and then close the box without removing the number. The deal is that if each of the 100 prisoners are able to find their numbers by following these rules, then they will all be pardoned. If they choose randomly, then the probability that they will achieve this task is pretty much zero. There is a strategy which elevates their chances to 31%. What should the strategy be? Let's discuss. Leave a comment or stick. I'll make a solution video very soon. Follow for more math. تعرف ان المجموعة الشمسية اللي انت بتشوفها في الصور والفيديوهات مش حقيقية؟ تعال اقول لك. طول عمرنا بنشوف المجموعة الشمسية في الصور عبارة عن شمس محطوطة في النص وكواكب حلوة كبيرة كده ملزقة في بعض بيدوروا حواليها وده طبعا مش حقيقي. ايوه بقى الله يبارك لك انا كنت عارف انهم عاملين مؤامرة علينا. لا ايه ده بس مفيش مؤامرة ولا حاجة. تموتوا في المؤامرات. الاول تعالى بس افهمك حاجة سريعة كده. لو افترضنا ان في عمارتين جنب بعض عايز ارسمهم على ورقة. واحدة بطول 10 ادوار والتانية بطول 5 ادوار. انا عايز اوصل لعقلك فرق الحجم بين العمارتين، بس ورقة الرسم قد كده. انا مش هقدر احافظ على المقاييس الحقيقية للعمارتين، لكن اقدر احافظ على النسب ما بينهم. فلو رسمت العمارة الأولى بطول 10 سم مثلا، هرسم العمارة الثانية بطول 5 سم، وبكده عقلك هيقدر يستوعب ويتصور فرق الحجم بين العمارتين. 
تعالى بقى نطبق نفس الفكره على المجموعه الشمسيه لو رسمنا الشمس بقطر 30 سم يعني قد كده مثلا الارض يفترض يبقى حجمها 2.7 ملم خد بالك ملم مش سم انت متخيل ده لما تبقى الشمس بقطر 30 سم فما بالك بقى لما نرسمها قد كده بقطر 3 او 5 سم هتبقى الكواكب عباره عن نقط مجهريه نشوفها بالميكروسكوب ومش بس فرق الحجم بين اجرام المجموعه الشمسيه هي المشكله لا دي المشكله الاكبر كمان في المسافات اللي ما بينهم احنا لو حطينا نقطه بسن القلم على ورقه وقلنا ان ده القمر وعايزين نكمل نموذج المجموعه الشمسيه هنحتاج ورقه عرضها 145 متر وهنروح بعيد ليه في مجموعه شباب راحوا صحراء فيلادلفيا عشان يعملوا نموذج حقيقي للمجموعه الشمسيه النموذج ده الارض فيه كانت بحجم بليه صغيره احتاجوا 11.6 كيلو متر عشان يعملوا نموذج حقيقي دقيق للمجموعه الشمسيه ببساطه المجموعه الشمسيه غير قابله للرسم مقاييس حقيقيه على الورق زي ما الفيديو ده غير قابل للتجاهل تشوف ابو حميد منور الفيديو من هنا تلاقي نفسك بتخبط لايك على طول تعمل فولو طبعا Okay, so riddle me this. This cup broke in the dishwasher. This is the shard we found. Exhibit A. And the way that it is... No, put it in. <laughs> it's rounded, so it's supposed to go like that. With the lip of the cup on top. And that's the way that it would fit. But that's the inverted part. How do you make it fit? in the cup it's it doesn't it doesn't fit we're going viral baby <laughs> the question is does broken glass invert in the dishwasher <laughs> thank you and <laughs> someone help <laughs> You know, even some of the largest species of octopus, like the giant Pacific, can fit through holes the size of a quarter, as most of their body is actually soft and squishy. The only part that isn't is their beak, which is actually razor sharp and very hard as it's made through cutting through flesh and bone of the prey that they hunt. So yeah, the more you know. <laughs> Hey, you see how the thing goes? How the thing goes? Oh, you tell me who's Andrew? Hand hook, hand hook.